Welcome to the Major Ed Polito Warrior for Freedom Podcast. What a great day to be an American. This show is going to be all about the highlight and goodness of this nation and the positive spirit of who we are as Americans. Brought to you by Scars and Stripes Coffee. Hoorah! He is a senior VP of the Folds of Honor Foundation and is a founding member of Warriors for Freedom Foundation and founded Warrior Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, God bless the United States of America. Major Ed Polito. Major Ed Polito, Warrior for Freedom Podcast. Hey everyone, welcome to the Major Ed Polito Warrior for Freedom podcast, our initial episode. This is the man himself, Major Ed Polito, U.S. Army retired. Good to see you this morning, Ed. Well, what a great day to be an American, and you know what? What a great day to honor the sacrifices and support the legacy of our men and women who fight for our freedom and their military families. And this is what this podcast is all about, is making sure that the American people understand that freedom is not free. We will never leave anyone behind on the field of battle. And guess what? You know what? We live in the greatest nation in the world, the United States of America. That's Major Ed Polito right there, summed up to a T. My name is Kyle Golding. I am the co-host talking to Ed every episode about all the things he's involved in as a re- retired from the U.S. Army, as a veteran himself, as a, as a recipient of a Purple Heart, and all the work that you're doing in the community, working with other veterans, veteran groups, etc., to support the fine men and women who serve us in the U.S. military. Well, and I love just that intro. And let me tell you, I think I'll even take it to another uh, level. And on this podcast, what you're going to find is all of the great people that I come in contact with during my travels. And I think that was one of the reasons that we decided that we needed to do something really to empower, support, and more importantly, inspire our military, but to connect to the American people about the needs that our veterans have and also about the things that are going on that can be purposeful. Everyone asks me all around the country, hey, what can I do to be a difference maker? And you know what? Being a difference maker, an influencer is what we're all about. And this podcast is about education, but it's also about, you know what, talking about current events and talking about things that, you know what, really hit our heart. From immigration issues that are going on in this country to what is going on in the political climate of of Washington, D.C., to the current issues in military opportunities and military science and military innovation, but also, you know what, military strategy. And I think that's what this show is all about. And I was a major in the United States Army. That's what I did for a living is serve my great country. And when I took that oath of office, I knew exactly what it was all about. Exactly, folks. So here's what we're going to do today. We're going to talk about what Major Ed is working on right now, Spend about five or ten minutes talking about all the things he's involved in. He's involved in a lot of things. You're going to find it very interesting and probably find things you might be interested in and participating yourself, volunteer, donating, etc. And then we're going to talk a little bit about your background, about how you come to this from your family and your heritage and all the things that makes makes up who you are. And then we'll talk a little current events and let people know what they, to expect in the podcast in the future. How's that sound? Ed? That sounds outstanding. And the other thing I guess I would add to that, because you just pretty well hit everything on the nose, is that if anyone uh, around the country wants to book me for a speaking engagement, right. uh, that there's an opportunity to do that. And then you know what? I just want everyone to know that I'm part of the Kyle Golding family here and <laughs> And, you know, not to give you a little bit of a shout out, but I think that's important. And then we're also going to talk about all the products we are. that I'm involved with, uh, from Scars and Stripes Coffee to our coin company that we're yeah. launching. We just launched a water uh, company um, out of Las Vegas, Nevada, with a, a, a group of football players that I'm involved with. And then, you know what, leading up to it, next year I've got an opportunity to be a part of the uh, Super Bowl in wow. 2020. Coming up, the NFL season's coming, and uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about the work that we're doing for individuals with traumatic brain injuries and what the NFL and what um, organizations are doing across the country and our military to make sure that we combat the issues related to traumatic brain injury. So there you have, we're going to talk about Major Ed's experiences uh, on and off the battlefield and in the community. We're going to talk about veteran-owned businesses, scholarship opportunities for Correct. family members, all of the things that we're doing to support uh, our veterans now that they're, they're back from the, the, the field of battle uh, and how people in the community can get involved and that we can have a lot of fun doing it at the same time, right? Yeah. And then the other thing I think I would even add too is that, you know what, I wrote a book and it's called Warrior for Freedom. 
uh, Challenge, Triumph, and Change. The name of this uh, it, yeah. this podcast is Major Ed Polito, Warrior for Freedom. And the Warrior for Freedom is simply this. Everyone in this country has an opportunity to be a warrior for freedom. You don't have to put the uniform on. You could serve in law enforcement as a first responder. You could serve in your community in the nonprofit sector. Or you can go and be a business owner and say, you know what, what can I do to make a difference, not only in my community, in my state, but in my nation. And that, to me, is what this podcast is all about. It is truly about the red, white, and blue. For sure. Because you, you, you live it and breathe it every single day. So let's start right at the top of the simple stuff. Anyone who knows you, has ever met you, has ever heard of you, knows you as Major Ed, right? Because being a major, being U.S. Army retired is a huge part of who you are and what you do. All the things that encompass the things we're doing here on the podcast. Before we get too deep into this, we're going to start real easy. I'm going to personally thank you for your oh, service. thank you, brother. And at, we're always going to thank all the veterans on every episode we do of this show for sure. You get bring in ensuring the freedom that we have to do things like this. So that's number one. Number two, I want you to tell people um, your military service and specifically that event that happened in Iraq that kept you from being an active member to eventually being a retired member of the U.S. Army. Well, and that's a great lead way to saying this. Uh, In fact, I just talked about it at an event that I did uh, several days ago, and I started out by talking about where it all started. It, It was Ronald Reagan in 1981 that really inspired me to join the United States Army. Um, My father took us to the inaugural address. We were stationed in Aberdeen Proving Grounds there in Maryland. And the thing about it that was so inspirational was the fact that on that day, Ronald Reagan called me to action. And I tell people that, you know what, um, presidents and heroes and other individuals around this country can call us out. My father is my hero. But it was Ronald Reagan who really basically said, you know, as he talked in his inaugural address, he talked about the beauty of their country, talked about our nation and its monuments and how important it is. But then he went to the place of somber and of and of honor and of duty and of responsibility and of respect, and that was Arlington Cemetery. And as he talked about and told the story of a young man by the name of Martin Trepto, it talked about what he did in pledging that he would fight for this country. And no matter what would happen in World War I, that if the, anything that went down, that if the issue depended on him alone, that he would be the last man standing for his country. Right. And that, to me, was the inspiration behind it. And I know it sounds a little bit dog and pony, but you know what? That is what America is all about. Little things like that can inspire a young boys. It connected to you specifically to the point that you remember it so vividly, so that's real. Well, it is real, and I wrote about it in my book, in my forward, when I could have a lot of people do my forward. And the right. thing that really was most impactful was that I would see my father, Colombian immigrant, come to this country, Vietnam-era veteran, and he would join the United States Army, and he would put on his combat boots every single day, go to work. His his speaking skills weren't the best because he he was bilingual. He was trying to learn the language. But, you know, that's how he supported my mom, who was from Puerto Rico. And it's a funny because you have a, a, a mom from Puerto Rico and a father from Colombia. Let me just tell you, it's oil and water. <laughs> and those two got together. And you know what? They made they made a difference in our lives. And the thing about it is that my father worked hard and ended up being a chief warrant officer in the United States Army. And that, to me, was the inspiration at 17 years of age. Um, also junior ROTC in high school. And I tell people around the country, we need more junior ROTC programs. For sure, programs. absolutely. So all our kids can connect, not only to the military, but patriotism, citizenship, and really connecting to other people. Yeah. That Because I know a lot of kids that I was with really didn't have very good social skills. And I'm not saying, I was one of those people totally out of the realm when I went into this. And I'm like, but one of the things that I learned about it, Kyle, is that every individual in America has an opportunity. For sure. And you know what? From the janitor to the CEO to whoever it is, you know what? Whatever background you come from, whatever diverse issue, you know, black, white, Hispanic, Asian, all of these people coming together. And if you know what? If 
It's if you love someone and that is who you love, because my mom always told me that that's who you love. There you and go. you know what? We all respect each other sure. and we respect our differences. And that to me was the growing up phase of, of being in junior ROTC and at age 17 deciding that I wanted to join the United States Army. That's exactly what I did. Had a great career in the military, was cut short. But you know what? At the end of the day, that was my upbringing, my foundation. And to all the listeners out there, build a foundation within yourself. Right. And when you build that foundation, you're really building a foundation for not only your community, your state, your country, but your family. For sure. And that, to me, is the backbone of of what it takes to be a great American. And I think we can all agree on that, for sure. So you said your military service got cut short. You're kind of glazing over a little bit, because I think it is important for people to understand yes. who don't know you, but this is the first time hearing about Major Ed, I think they need to understand your sacrifice. I think they need to understand what happened to you that day in Iraq and in how you recovered from it to come back, not just strong, but stronger, more positive, more focused on helping other people and helping people in your community. Well, and I think, you know what, we, me and you come from a background where we were working within the United Way system, and right. that's how we met. And the great thing about that meeting and, and the connection is that um, you understand that we leave no one behind on the field of battle. And on August 17th of 2004, that's really where the story starts for me. Look, I had a great career leading up to that. I worked for some outstanding generals. Um, I'm good friends with the Petra General Petraeus' of the world to, um, you know, General Tommy Franks to so many wonderful generals. I mean, I'm, I'm working with some generals here. General Deering is one of my inspirational mm -hmm. figures here in the state of Oklahoma. And now a good friend by the name of General Robinson. And all of those individuals had a, a piece in, in shaping who I am and what I'm all about. Specifically, you know, when General Petraeus awards you a Purple Heart on the battlefield, that it doesn't get any better than that in the, in the way that I think. Or when you get a message and you get to play with President, uh, you know, Bush and you get to play golf with him or you get to meet folks like President Trump that is now in office and people like President Obama and others that, you know what, and President Clinton, all of those people, aside of what their politics are, you know what, they're there to do a great job. And that, to me, is where I have to go with the commander-in-chief piece. And that is to understand that on August 17th of 2004, I hit an improvised explosive device or roadside bomb that would change my life forever. The first fragment hit my knee, broken in three places, fragments on the left side of my body. I was in trouble. But the great thing that I didn't mention with all these generals set aside is that the enlisted and the non-commissioned officers are the backbone of our military. They saved my life on that day. And today I'm able to talk about it and to tell people, you know what, freedom is not free and I would sacrifice my life and my other limbs for this great nation. Which is exactly why we do what we do, honoring, helping, and working with veterans and anyone who's ever put on the uniform, right? Well, yeah, exactly. And, you know, the thing that I learned through that whole process is the combat medic had pulled me out of the vehicle, put me on 128-degree pavement. You know, I understood that as I looked in his eyes, I said, you know what, if I get a second chance, because, you know what, I always tell people that my life was always about, here's what my dad actually told me. He says, remember, it's always about God, country, family, and all of those that serve in the armed forces of the United States of America to protect the American people and to ensure that we're free in this nation and to me those were words that were just so powerful because on that day when I saw the light of God and my faith was tested look everyone can believe in what you want to believe I believe in God and I believe in in Jesus Christ and I believe in all of that and that's just setting the foundation for who I am and you know what love is in my heart but on that day that combat medic took his training seriously he saved my life I saw the light and I asked for a second chance in life and now look where I'm at and guess what? I will never, ever waver on the fact that asking for that second chance has enabled me to do the things that I've been doing in the nonprofit sector to support our military families and our military heroes who come back traumatically injured and to support our active service members by letting them know that we're here for them. And family members, too. Exactly. And the family is the most important endeavor, I think, that we can all take ourselves to challenge um, each other on and say, what can we do to make sure that they're not left behind? Right. And that's what we're all about. So let's talk about what you're doing right now. Let's talk about the organizations you're involved with. 
all day, every day. I almost said 40 hours a week, but you and I both know it's much more than yeah. 40 hours a week. So let everyone know about Folds of Honor, Warriors for Freedom, and all the things that you personally are involved in that are supporting our, our men and women in uniform. Well, and, and I, you know, that's a great segue to talk about the great organizations that I do represent. And certainly, uh, you know, Folds of Honor Foundation, I've worked with Major Dan Rooney now going on 12 years um, I've been there, you know, from the days when there was not a lot of money and there was an opportunity to do something very powerful. And Major Rooney did make a difference. You know, he he understands that honoring the sacrifice, educating the legacy is very important. And it was all about him being on a United Airlines flight to witness something very powerful. And that was the remains of a young man coming back mm-hmm. to his final resting place and us starting the first scholarship within the foundation honoring Brock Buckland. And his son received uh, the first scholarship. His name's Jacob Green. He's growing up. And then, of course, you know, my two daughters, Caitlin and Kinsley, mm-hmm. were the second and third scholarship. The, the light of your life, the, the heart of your hearts. Well, yes. <laughs> and then, you know, I have to put in the, the Ravella family. The Ravella family is a very powerful, loving family that um, Jim and Ginger um, are so incredible friends of mine and, and outstanding patriots, but, you know, Ginger lost her husband uh, tra- traumatically um, in, a, in a crash of his F-16, going low, saving lives on the battlefield. And that, to me, is the story of the, of the foundation. I've, he- I've heard her story. It's an amazing well. story, and to hear her tell it is, is powerful. It is powerful, and the thing about it is that's one story of many stories. Right. Major Rooney has a story. I have a story. Ginger Gilbert Ravella and Jim Ravella have a story, and that to me is the power of what this show is all about. It is about telling these stories, about remembering these sacrifices. It's about talking about current news. It's about talking about my opinion on what is going on in, yeah. in Iran or, or in Syria or around the world. It's about how we fight terrorism, and it's about making sure that the people in this country are safe, the politics of the world, right, left, it doesn't matter. At the end of the day, there there's good in both sides of the aisle, and there's bad on sure, both sides sure, of the aisle. Sure. And I think, to me, that's the... The framework of this show is to let people know that it may be opinion, but at the end of the day, I'm going to align myself with what's right. Right. And that is being a great American, understanding that I love my country. I will always stand for the flag. And if you don't stand for the flag, that's your choice. But guess what? I can call you out just like you can call me out. Uh, hey, if you're going to stand for something, you have to take the heat. You have to take the opinions of other people who disagree with you, right? Correct. And you're not going to be negative about it. You're not going to be disrespectful. And you're going to be honorable. Right. And the thing is, that that's all I want is is honor, duty, and respect. And that, to me, is uh, is those building blocks or those words, right. you know, that um, you know, folks like Douglas MacArthur in the past have said. And I always tell people, um, this show is also going to be about, you know, what what got us to this point today. Right. Whether you know there were issues um, that were part of the founding fr- the founding framework, the founding fathers. There were issues related to slavery. There were issues of civil war, you know, one group fighting another group of Americans. Mm -hmm. And then there's talk about what we have done around the world to secure peace and to secure prosperity and to secure the freedom Freedom. of nations. Yeah, freedom is absolutely. And that to me is what it's all about, man. So I'm fired up about it. And guess (laughs) what? You know what? We live in the greatest nation in the world. And then I represent organizations like Warriors for Freedom that provides mental, physical, and wellness support. I'm working on a project now with a group called uh, Force 50, which we're looking at um, as a a volunteer, looking at a way to deliver health care services better around the country. That's needed for for sure. For veterans. Making sure that veterans have prosthetic technologies, Make sure that they have a managed care system that works for them. Making sure that, you know what, doctors in the local communities yeah. are getting paid the money that they should. Those are the kind of things you're going to learn on this podcast. And then the great thing about it is I'd love for us to at some point lead up to the point where we can have people ask us questions and yeah. we can answer those questions and give the American people maybe an opinion that they may have not thought about. Yes, we're going to we're going to. Put ourselves out there. We're going to take the the slings and arrows when they come at us. But when we're all ingredients, we're all going to find some great common ground, for Correct. sure. 
Something else we're going to do on this podcast, though, is we're going to hear some interesting stories from interesting people you've met doing all of these things that you do. Some people famous you've heard of, some people that no one's ever heard of, maybe behind the scenes. But you're going to tell people great stories, and you're a great storyteller. Thank you. Thank you. You're going to tell some great stories about people who are who are doing the work, supporting people, supporting our veterans, doing things in their communities. Not only are they doing great things, but they're doing it in an interesting way. We're going to hear some funny stories that you're not going to hear anywhere else behind the scenes the kind of backstage stuff you may not get to see on the news right <laughs> well, uh, from be fun. whether it's uh whether it's you know a, a local person that no one's ever heard of or or a, a, a someone like the guys in in big and rich uh golfer john daly maybe mark Wahlberg, someone like that uh you know many pacquiao there's all kinds of people you come across uh, doing what you do that say interesting things do interesting things or you have experiences with that no one else would know about we're gonna have those stories on this show as well well and i think the stories will be told from just my lens yeah. but in a positive and interactive way and it's just great that when you meet great americans they can they have their stories to right. tell, and I'll be able to ch- channel that. And then we're going to have some guests here that we're going to interact with. This show is going to be energetic. Yeah, it's going to sure. be very positive. We're going to promote like my Scars and Stripes coffee. This yep. thing's going viral. My good friend Chad, my good friend Brad, and then um, Zach Brown. Man, that Zach guy's got a great story. We're going to be able to tell his story about what he went through, the, the issues related to veteran suicide and those kind of stories that really kind of like hit hit you in the heart but then the other thing like you said we're going to talk we're going to talk about my travels the people i meet i mean i I was just with john daly great friend uh, great ambassador but then we'll talk about people like brian seligman who is just an individual um whose family just in fact has embarked on a big project where they uh, own a lot of resorts around the country you wouldn't even know who he is but you know what he's a business owner He's making a difference. He contributes to, to philanthropy. And that, to me, is the American spirit of who right. we are as people. For sure. And we'll have a lot of fun doing it, right? Oh, yeah. It's it's a lot easier to get everyone involved, get everyone participating, helping each other out, if we can have some fun doing it. Yeah, and I think the other thing, too, is I've got a bunch of followers all over the country. And you know what? We're going to have some energy, and yeah. it's going to be pumped up. And guess what? You know, We're going to be able to tell uh, these powerful stories of just everyday people. Right that are difference makers in America. And I want to tell you that I just had someone, I was just with an individual by the name of Vince and out there in uh, Las Vegas. And in fact, we were also with the folks uh, that are on the show Taint. And <laughs> I never knew that these aquariums that they build. Yeah, they're a big deal. They're a big deal. <laughs> Shaq O'Neal's getting ready to get yeah. one. Kid Rock's got one. All these people that we know through these travels and everything. And the thing about it is that when I met them, it was interesting because they said, you know what, Major Ed, you have the influencer mentality. And I said, wow, what does that mean? And, you know, and I kind of know what it means. I know what an influencer is. I'm an influencer in my own right and what I do. But you have the influencer mentality. And what that it me- meant was, in their eyes, was that everyone you connect with, you connect with them yes. in such a positive spirit, and you make them feel so good. There you go. And you motivate them to do something. Yeah, and I think, and he says, that's a gift because not everyone can do that and be genuine about it. True. That's the key. Authenticity is absolutely the key here. Correct. And I think what you'll find is with these organizations that I represent, as you can see, Folds of Honor, uh, Major Dan, and then the work that we do on Patriot Golf Day, right. the work we do for these military families, the work we do for our veterans here in the state of Oklahoma through the work that we've done with Warriors for Freedom to provide mental, physical, and wellness. Um, and that is an organization that you help create the logo for. Uh, you help to get them off the ground. And, you know, these days I just support their work and maybe throw an email here and there for them to do the things that they're doing, but they're running and gunning on their own. They've got their board. They're working side by side. And, you know, Folds of Honor has become almost like a 130 to $150 million organization. Over 21,000 scholarships will award another 5,500. But my life is about the philanthropy and my wife, too, because yeah. um, we also are big supporters of the Fisher House Foundation. Mm-hmm. And the Fisher House Foundation uh, provides healing and hope and opportunity and respite, just like the Ronald McDonald House. Yep. 
That is the Ronald McDonald House of the military. And for people out there, you know, they don't understand that, you know, for me, I had to utilize those services like right. the Fisher House. Mm-hmm. And I had to utilize the services of folks like the United Way. And to me, you know what, that's when it, when the rubber hits the road, when you have to use services that you have been for years <laughs> advocating for, and now you're the util- utilization entity of it. And that and, to me and is the, something powerful. And the powerful. proof that it works. That's, that's right. That's the key, the proof that it works. That proof that it works and the proof that, you know what, when you give your mighty dollar that you hope that it goes for the right re- right, right cause and the right reason. And you know what? For me, I've been able to see that. Right. And you have to. Yes, and that's sure. what this show is going to be all about, to highlight the goodness of this nation and the positive spirit of there who we go. are as Americans. No one has ever accused you of not having high energy and, right. po- and positivity. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's what we're going to do on this program. High energy, positivity, real stories, uh, both in the news and behind the scenes, uh, around and amongst all the things that you're involved in. I think people are going to take a lot from it, get motivated, maybe inspired to do their own thing, small or big. We're happy. Whatever happens, we'll have a lot of fun doing it. That's episode one. I'm super excited that we're getting this launched. Episode two will be coming up very soon. Make sure that you subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. Don't just listen to this one time. Don't watch the video one time. Subscribe so that you can get every single episode. We're going to have great stories from Major Ed. We're going to have great guests. We're going to bring in veteran-owned businesses and products. We're going to tell you about what's in the news. We're going to give opinions. We're going to push buttons. We might upset you a little bit. We might make you happy. But whatever it is, you won't say that we're boring. Right. That's right. And the other thing, too, is that we're going to be very respectful regarding whatever side you're on. And, you know, if there's an issue that is on my mind, I'm going to bring it up. I'm going to bring it up in good spirit. And I hope that everyone else brings up the comments in good spirit. And you know what? When you launch something like this, I'll tell you, I was on Fox News and I did a story on uh, Donald Trump and my support for the president on the issue. And that was what had happened in the Iranian uh, issue oh, right. and and through that... The, the, and know, it's the, still kind of ongoing, right? It's happening right. as we speak, right? And all of the things that went down and a lot... And I got, uh, hundred, you know, thousands of comments that were positive. But then there were some that were negative. And the negative comments were like, well, how dare you do that, uh, say something about the... The, Ir- the Iranian people. I never had an issue with the Iranian sure, people. Right. They're completely different than their government. That's right. But their government had something to do with what happened to me yeah. on August 17th of 2004. My left leg is gone and blood is on their hands. For sure. And the armaments that they used were ones that they used against our forces. I don't know what to tell anyone on that, except that that's a, that was a terrorist attack, being yeah. attacked like that. Am I bitter about it? No. But you know what? We should hold countries accountable. The truth is the truth. For what they're involved with. And, for sure. And during 03 to 2011, and President Obama, in his defense, in some regard, was able to stop the use of these IEDs by the Iranian regime. I think there were some other things being under the table that occurred, some money transfers, et cetera. But the thing about it is don't get mad at the person that's kind of talking <laughs> about it when I'm the one that got blown hey, up. You live through it, so you get the right to talk about it. That's, that's, right. that's freedom right there. That's freedom, and that's not negative. That's yeah. just an opinion, and your opinion is just as valid as my opinion. On the other hand, when something happens to you, just remember – that it changes your outlook on how things are. And that's what this show is going to be all about. So there you have it, folks. That's what's going to happen here on the Major Ed Podcast. We hope that you hit the subscribe button so that you can hear every single episode, whether you're listening to it on iTunes or you're watching it on YouTube. Make sure you also check out Major Ed's social media. He's on he's on everything, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the good stuff. He's there. We'll be talking about that more along with all of our guests and all the people that are going to be involved in the Major Ed Podcast. Look for episode two coming soon. Major Ed, first of all, thank you for being here today and for getting this first episode launched i appreciate it very much i again want to thank you one more time for your service to our country i appreciate you defending everyone's freedom that includes me and thank you for letting me be a part of this podcast project as well i'm not doing exactly what you're doing but i'm doing different things in the community and i think it takes all types for us to put it all together oh yeah i'm super excited to be doing this podcast with you as your co-host and look forward to episode two which will be coming soon until then lead us out tell them tell them what you always say, Ed. Well, what a great day to be an American. 
God bless the United States of America. Hoorah! Well, what a great day to be an American and what a great day to honor the sacrifices and support the legacy of our men and women who fight for our freedom and their military families. This is what this podcast is all about, making sure that the American people understand that freedom is not free. We will never leave anyone behind on the field of battle. And we live in the greatest nation in the world, the United States of America. I'm going to align myself with what's right. And that is being a great American, understanding that I love my country. I will always stand for the flag. Hoorah!